Well, we were talking on this uh, this book that Bill had on Maslin. It showed a picture of the 1913 flood, yeah. and it showed the downtown totally flooded then at that time, totally flooded. Maybe the uh, since they straightened the river out, the uh, Tuscarawas doesn't look like it's going to flood uh, again. I don't think it ever will. No, the uh, state or federal engineers put that land over when they straightened the river. Mm -hmm. And they ought to know if it was going to get as high as it was. But that's as high as it's ever been. That, that room, the canal. Yeah, he told us that they had, had to close the canal down or close yeah. it down. When those canal boats came up, there's a picture in there of uh, a canal boat uh, moving up the towpath. Yeah. If another one came down the opposite direction, how would they pass? They wouldn't leave the one go through until the other one was through. And they'd hold them on one end. I see. They, they have locks, you know, mm -hmm. where they can, if you want to go that way and you're over here, they fill the locks with water mm -hmm. and raise it up and you can go the same way coming this way. Would they have pull-offs that the boats could go pull off, that the boat could uh, pull off to the side so the other boat could go by? No. No, you don't pass any boats that way. So if they're coming in opposite directions... They have to wait until they got... To a lock? Sure. Would they, they wait till they get to a lock? Oh, yeah. I never saw two together. Never. They got a lock about a half a mile from the Maslin Square up the canal. Mm -hmm. They got one down the other way too. So they don't hold things up very long except for the locks to fill up with water. So they, would they, would the boats run at night or just during the daytime? Just the daytime. Daytime. Then they tie up at nighttime and cook their dinner. Or would they cook right on those boats? Oh yeah. They lived on the boat. Lived on the boats, huh? See, this canal runs. I don't know how far south, but it goes up to Cleveland. Mm-hmm. So it takes some time for a horse. To walk yeah. that far. They, they weren't horses, or they were mules. A mule tied one end to a rope long enough, tied it to, at the end of the boat, with the front ends, mm -hmm. so they could pull it. And then they went very slowly, just the way a mule would walk, you know. Yes. I think they went all the way down to uh, the Ohio River. I don't know where it went into there, but then they would uh, change the goods into other river boats. They could go all the way down or up the Ohio River. <laughs> they got so much, so much a day in the drink. They were foreigners. Down to the canal. Oh, really? Yeah. So, so much to drink at the end of the day, and, and so much money. So much. <laughs> what did the canal boats carry? Coal, grain, different, different kinds of grain. I see. Uh, now, let's see. Where, you know where the old National Bank is here in Maxon? It's a high one, same as the other. Well, it was the first one here for years. Mm -hmm. They built another one. Uh -huh. I forget now. Ago. It's all the commotion. You said uh, my dad was born down on uh, First Street in Lincoln Way. 
On the square. On the square. But is that First Street or Erie? That's Erie and Lincoln Highway. Okay. And there you can go northeast south and west. I drove up on the uh, west end a little bit yesterday. We drove over to uh, down, I think it's uh, South Erie, to uh, the, the bridge that goes across to the steel mill. Viaduct. The viaduct, yeah. We drove across there and then turned right, went up through the heights. Boy, does that look tough down there now. It was. They used to do killing down there. That's what. Uh, Bill and Walt said they used to carry newspapers down through there. Yeah. Yeah. They had a big paper route. <clears throat> well, they, they, they wouldn't pick on kids. Just yeah. other other gangsters, huh? Yeah. <laughs> because they came here from all over. Yes. Wouldn't be to their, <clears throat> to their advantage to. Kill a kid. No. The area is sure run down though. It used to be fairly decent, I remember about 30, 40 years ago. But the houses are really in uh, disrepair and look bad. Well, now if you're going further south, no, no, it's pretty close to the valley house. Uh, there used to be a, oh, well, it wasn't a hotel, it was a hospital. Oh, really? A hospital close to those riot outs on the left hand side, which was Philly. Mm -hmm. You can see where they don't get it out. I see. Not too long ago. I used to go down through the heights every day, <clears throat> but I was in a bus. Mm -hmm. they, they had a, a private bus, that is, is public, and the fellow couldn't meet expenses. He wanted the city to help him out. They wouldn't do it, so he quit the, running the bus, and they brought one in from Canton. They had a system of buses where, where they hauled uh, different groups. Like I, I was with a, a group that, uh, where I ate dinner. It was a government project. I ate dinner every day. They charge you fifty cents, but now it's a dollar and a half. Mm -hmm. And they they occupy the second floor of the senior citizens' building. Hey, have you? Going down and walking around that way? No. This is, is the first time I've been down here for 30 years, just mm. long time. Well, there used to be a row of buildings from the